Hello everybody and welcome to my series for Spin Tires. Now if you don't know what this game is, it's pretty much the ultimate off-roading game right now. It takes really, really good mud and water physics and mixes them with very well done vehicular physics and pits them off into this beautiful world that you can see right here. This actually isn't a screenshot, you can see the trees moving over here. This is actually an in-game shot. And uh, it's really just a great experience. You essentially take old Russian trucks, put them on these roads and on these, well, it's not half the time, it's not even roads. You're just essentially in a mud pit trying to get yourself out. And you really have to figure out how to usually deliver things from one point to another. So what I really want to do with this series is complete every map. There's currently, I think, yeah, there's five different maps we can do. Um, they all, it's, that doesn't sound like much, but it is probably going to take me two to three hours at least for every map to successfully complete them. I also plan on doing a little bit of multiplayer as well. Uh, depending on what the map is, we'll see where I go from there. But for the starting, I hear that the coast is probably the easiest one. It is the first one you can pick as well. Um, so I think this is a one that's probably going to be the best to start on and uh, really experience the game. Because I've only put about two hours into it right now, so I do understand how to control the game, but in terms of strategy, I'm still lacking. So I want to, you know, take it easy right now and uh, start on the coast. Now, as you can see, there's different modes as well. You can have hardcore and you can have casual. Hardcore, essentially, well, it's a little bit more hard. You can't rescue two garages. Now, what that means is in casual mode, you can teleport if you get stuck back to the garage, essentially, and um, start off from there. Now, in hardcore mode, if you get stuck, you literally need to take another truck, go over there, wench your truck out of there, if you want to use that truck again. If not, you can just leave it there and let it rot, but obviously, that's not the best idea, because pretty much every map is built around the trucks that it gives you. If you have three trucks, generally, it's a good idea to use all three of those trucks. Now, you also can't skip time. I don't really... I've actually never used the time um, skipping mechanic in this game so I don't really know much about that I'm not really interested in that so I'm actually gonna be doing casual I'm just explaining what hardcore is if you are interested in this game um, you can't engage in dif differential lock while using automatic gearbox mode so if you are moving you're not going to be able to uh, turn into your um, lo lo locking differential uh, we'll get more into that if you don't know what locking differentials are and all that stuff uh, as we are playing um, and fuel consumption is higher than in casual so Definitely a great mode if you do want to take this very seriously. Obviously, as I'm commentating over this, I'm going to be talking a little bit and not thinking as much as I probably should be. So I'm going to be doing casual. And uh, yeah, enough of me talking. Let's get into this. All right, so welcome to Spin Tires. Now, we are at our first garage here, and we can you can see that we have two different vehicles here. We have a nice old Jeep. And a big old tr Russian truck. Like, this thing is ridiculously old. Uh, one complaint about this game is the camera. It is a very, very difficult camera to deal with. It takes a long time to get used to. So I am going to be playing around with it for a little while before I actually get in, get used to it. But, uh, yeah, let's look at the map here. Figure out what we're going to be doing. We actually have to essentially transfer logs on this map. I think most maps have to do with logs as well. So you can see the lumber yard is down here. This is actually unlocked and you see these big black circles that says cloaking. Now that's essentially um, making you find your own way to that cloak. Now if you get to the middle of this big circle, essentially where the cloaking text is, uh, there'll be there'll be like a little twister there that you have to, it's hard to explain, but there's a black twister like a tornado that's there and if you hit that that will unlock the cloaking and you'll be able to see that big black circle. Um, but getting there is the hard part because you have no reference of where the roads are or where you should go. So it is very exciting actually if you are into games like this. Trying to figure out, okay, where am I going to start going into this black part and figuring out how to get to the middle of it. Because one wrong move and you're going to get stuck. The, this game is very unforgiving. Um, but right now, as you can see, we have three different trucks in this uh, this map. We have the two that we have right here, which are these ones, and then this locked one. You have to actually drive to the different trucks to get them unlocked. So if you want to use this Type C4320, which we definitely do, it has a crane on it, and it is 
I think you can move medium-sized wood with it. We'll get more into that as we get into this game. Um, but you can move medium-sized wood with it. So I definitely want to get over there right away. Um, and you can see that we have, we can actually see most of what I'm looking at right now. I'm at the garage, and to get to that Type C, uh, looks like we have to go down this big path. This actually isn't a river, this is a, a dirt path. Uh, so it does have a very good map. I actually really like this map. It's uh, a bit 3D, and uh, you, can you can definitely utilize it. I didn't even notice that you can actually kind of see throughout the black, too. Um, I don't know if it will show up on the uh, video, because... Uh, videos do render dar darker than the actual game, but you can see the trees a little bit through the black, which is actually really interesting. Didn't even know about that, but okay, let's get into this. So, I don't want help, so, well, thank you. Oh, I did actually hit a distance there, but you can also put these on there if you want. Obviously, that doesn't really help. Um, it doesn't really give you a route. It just points you straight to where it should be. Uh, I, I know where I gotta go for this one, so I am just going to hit OK. Hit F1. We're actually not even... Actually, you know what? I think I will use that truck just to show you a few of the customization options that you can do on this game. So we're going to hit... If I get... That's my... Okay, that's the one right there. Wow, it's not even got a parking brake on. So we are using the blue truck right now. That's a, that's It's a pretty simple way to uh, move. We, we don't have our parking brake on. We're just sliding right now. It's not even turned on. Um, so if we start our engine here, which is really enjoyable because these old trucks sound great I love the sound of old vehicles so let's start our engine <laughs> puff of smoke it's turned on oh it just sounds so great I love it wow I'm actually seeing that's the first time I've seen a little bit of clipping in the mud which is actually really interesting not interesting but very surprising to see because I haven't seen any uh, issues like that thus far um, so we're going to back up and get into the garage here. I'm going to show you a bit of the strategy that goes into spin tires. So we're in the garage right now, so if we stop, it should pop up. There we go. Okay, so this is your install add-ons and trailers menu here. So if we, uh, it's really hard to get this camera at a good angle, so that's good. Um, you can change your wheels here. Now, everything you do does have a negative. There's weight issues this game is essentially a simulator, so if you put on chain wheels, chain wheels, if you don't know, they help you get through thick mud or snow, um, because they have more of a bite to the ground. So, definitely it's going to help you get through that mud, but it's going to put a little bit of weight on your vehicle as well. Obviously, that's not as bad as something like, um, well, if you can see, we have uh, our carriage on right now. Now, if we uninstall that... Uh, that's obviously going to be a lot lighter, a lot easier to get through, but you're losing losing your carriage, which carries loads. So if you want to carry something, obviously you're going to need that. But what's really cool is if we get this tractor trailer on right now, and then we can actually get this cistern trailer, which I think, yeah, it, it, this this can carry fuel for you. So actually, we, we have to move if we want to see that. So let's actually move here really quickly. You kind of got to get this very specific. Okay, so now if we put on that cistern trailer, that's that's obviously going to get us a lot of fuel if we need it. Um, generally, if you want to do that, you want to plan out a route and put it in a very specific place, and it's a good refueling point if you want that. Uh, I'm not interested in that right now. I'm just showing you guys the different options. A utility trailer. Now, I think this one, yeah, the fuel cap, it's actually really hard to read because this is in the way. Um, it has a fuel capacity of 800 liters, as well as carries 1,200 repair points. Essentially meaning you take damage as you're going throughout this game. Um, you can repair vehicles, as well as yourself, with those repair points. So, if you are going on long runs, that's actually a really good idea, because not only will you get fuel, you'll get the extra repair points as well. But, uh, enough of that. I am actually going to get out of this vehicle now. I just want to get out of this screen here. Um, so I'm going to hit V here and stop my engine. So I don't waste um, feel like I am on my Jeep right now. And we're going to go to the Jeep. Now, th thankfully, in this casual mode, feel isn't as uh, demanding as the hardcore mode. So I'm not too worried about losing too much feel. Um, actually, I think you can add one thing to this. I don't think I want to, though. I want to be as light as possible. Because, as you can see, the road that we have to go through right now is actually pretty damn intense. Uh, especially for this little vehicle. It has very small wheels. It is a Jeep, so it is going to get through it. But it might have a few troubles doing it. So let's get uh, let's get going here. We're actually going to start off in uh, with differential lock off, as well as all-wheel drive off. Because 
actually using that, if you didn't know, will damage your vehicle. Because if you don't know what di differential lock does, essentially, if you have di differential lock on, all the wheels will be moving at the same speeds. Um, if you don't know vehicles, when they churn, the, the inside wheels are going to be moving much less than the outside wheels. So if you didn't have differential, it would be chaotic to your car. It would be just an awful ride. And uh, it would be really, really difficult to have a very enjoyable ride in a car. Okay, so we're going to turn our differential lock on. We are actually stuck already, which uh, is quite surprising, but it, we're not really that stuck right now. Uh, just a little bit of mud we had to get through there. Now I'm going to turn my differential lock back off. I might want to turn four-wheel drive on here, though. This is actually pretty deep, and our camera is not being very supportive of us right now. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to turn all-wheel drive on right now. Uh, now our differential is still off, so the wheels are spinning at different speeds. Now we are getting really stuck here, so I am going to turn it on really quickly. And as you can see, the difference is quite drastic in terms of getting out of those sticky situations. Um, so actually, I am going to keep all-wheel drive on this whole time. Now I just want to make sure that I'm going down the right road. As you can see, we are moving down, and that road should just keep going all the way down to that Type C4320. Uh, so let's just keep going here, but I am going to turn my headlights on, and the lighting in this game, everything about this game, like I haven't even mentioned like any of the other physics, but I'm sure you guys are seeing them, but every attention to detail in this game is amazing. Like, if you look, if we have this off, you can see quite well, but if you turn it on, everything else darkens. That's because, obviously, if your eyes are seeing light, um, you're going to focus on that light, and it's going to be much harder to see the darkness. Uh, but we definitely want that light on, because it's more important to see what's in front of us than what's all around us. And uh, let's just keep going as fast as we can here. The faster you go, uh, it's a little bit more dangerous on the damage part, but you're, there's a less chance you're going to get stuck as well. You have to really watch for ri rivets as well, because this little car can easily get stuck in the smallest little rivet in the ground. Like that one right to the left of me, that could have been a little dangerous for this little Jeep. But this isn't too bad at all. This uh, road is obviously widely used, as you can tell, by all the tracks. So, it isn't as bad as getting stuck deep in the woods, where it's really wet and very dangerous, so we shouldn't have any problem at all. Um, the good thing about being deep in the woods, though, is you have trees to uh, latch onto. Right here, I would actually have a long, hard time wenching on anything, because I'm so far away from them. Okay, so... There's a road going off there. I, I shouldn't have slowed down there. That was a bad spot to slow down on. But, push through it, we should be fine. We are sliding all over the place. This car is just... It's actually doing really well. I'm really surprised. And there it is. Welcome to the C whatever 3140. Whatever, whatever the numbers were. I have no idea. It's the truck with the crane. That's all I know. And we unlocked it. That's, all, that's as easy as it is to unlock it. So I'm going to park this Jeep just right here. I guess that should be fine. Not too picky. I'm going to turn this bad boy off. And we are going to get into that big boy. All right, so this type C three four three twenty C four three twenty. Oh, all right, and this thing is just beautiful. I really like old machinery. I uh, and I love the attention to detail of this game. Like when you start it up, there'll be puff balls of smoke, and everything about it. I've actually never used the crane on this, so I don't really know what it does. Uh, so a lot of this uh, series will be me learning. I have obviously used that Jeep, and I knew how to get here. But it's going to be a, a good experience for me as well as you in terms of uh, learning. So let's start this engine up and listen to it in all its glory. Oh, yeah. There we go. That puffball of smoke always gets me. I just love this thing. I actually want to play with the crane right now. Um... So, th mechanism three crane. Move the crane grab. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so you can move logs, but I haven't actually needed to do that yet. I haven't actually had a successful log run yet, so I'm thinking this crane's going to be... Oh, 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 don't want to do that. Okay, okay. I think I should probably stop playing with this because I'm going to damage my vehicle. I'm just trying to place it in the right spot again. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's that moves way too quick for a hydraulic thing it feels like uh, but we're actually that was really fun but I'm going to stop playing with it now and we are going to 
go and get some logs. I don't even know if I stated that yet, but the whole point of getting this truck was to grab these lumber over here. And then we are going to either go, I think there's two stations here. So there's an objective up here and an objective up here. Now going to the closest one is always is not always the smartest idea. Um, as you can see, we had to deliver zero out of eight. I think this truck can hold four out of those eight. I, I think it's just like stock or whatever you want to call them. And uh, we, we really have to probably go down here if we want to do that. Or we can take the long route and go around all the way to there. I'm assuming this is going to be a more dangerous path. But I like danger, so I think I'm going to probably go to the closer one. And hopefully successfully deliver all eight there. Um, obviously, I might take the Jeep over here and get this one. And get this one. But we also have the Type B-130 over here. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be using that for yet. I might not even need it. Uh, depending it, maybe if I need fuel, that's when I'll bring it over. But I think that's all I'll need it for. So uh, let's uh, get going here. I think the lumber is right down here. So take this big boy and get it going. Now obviously this thing has much bigger tires. It's going to be able to move through bigger ruts and a lot more dirt. There's actually right here. I don't even know. Actually, that, yeah, that's really deep right here. So it's a good thing I had this. But... Uh, as you can see, we are at the lumber mill now. It's not much of a lumber mill. It's more just like grab and go. But the best thing I can suggest to you is prepare. Uh, like, I, I could grab my logs probably right now if I wanted to. Oh, please position your truck properly. So it's very specific on how you position your truck. As you can see, I'm turned a little bit. You want, it, it's not asking you to go buy the lumber. It's asking you to position your truck perfectly straight. Um, so... What we got to do first is turn around, though. I, wa I want to place my truck so I'm looking out here and preparing to leave. So I'm just going to start turning around right now. Uh, I might need to put this in four-wheel drive. And we do have a small trailer on this, so we do have to be very careful of jackknifing because that's going to damage that little trailer really, really quickly. I haven't actually turned on four-wheel drive yet, which is really surprising. Uh, it's looking like I'm going to need it right now. I guess it's not four-wheel, it's all-wheel with this thing. Ooh, we are really... Like, I don't know who decides to put a logging camp here, but I don't think it's the best place to really have big trucks going through. I, but as you can see, this camera is not the best, so I apologize, and I'm jackknifing this trailer like crazy right now, like a baddie, but that's going to happen a lot with this series. I'm not the best driver, but I do enjoy doing it. Games like this are extremely rewarding to me. I'm not even hitting that. That's bullshit, but that's okay. I just got to turn it a bit. And as easy as that, we are... Actually, I can do this longer view as well. I do got to get this straight, though. I got to remember that. All right, that looks pretty straight, hopefully. Yep. So, as you can see, long logs. Uh, you can also get short logs. So... Based on what logs you are getting, it uh, decides, if we go to the map here, how many of these you are delivering. So the medium logs, I think, deliver four. I don't know if the long logs deliver six or eight. I believe the short deliver two. So depending on the truck you have, uh, it, it decides how many logs you can bring. Uh, obviously, with this one, we can only do medium, so we're going to stock up with the medium logs. And here we go. Now, this camera is going to be really, really a pain in the butt now. Ah, uh, but we should be all right. It should go just fine here. So let's uh, position my wheels rightly and try and get this really heavy vehicle now out of here. Now you got to be really careful. This is very top heavy now. Uh, as you can see, I'm leaning quite a bit here, so I'm going to turn my wheel a bit, try and keep it steady on this path. Uh, do I still have f f all wheels on? Yes, that's probably a good idea right now because I would rather not get stuck with this. I have a very high potential of getting stuck now. Because of how heavy I am. I'm going to put differential on. To make sure I get through this really thick stuff. Now I might actually take the Jeep now. And just scout ahead. And make sure. This truck is going to be able to get through that crap. Because you don't want to be going into the blackness. With something as heavy as this. So I'm actually going to. Stop this engine now. Oh my god that sound. Just that old engine turning off. I love it. Okay, so we're going to go back to that little Jeep, or Land Rover, or whatever you want to call them. I'm Canadian, and we call them Jeeps. And we're going to spawn up in that, and start that engine. Now, I really got to plan out where I'm going to go now, because 
I'm not really too scared about losing this Jeep. If I do, it's no big deal. But I'd rather not do it because I, I, I want to make this as real as possible, right? It's pretty much a simulation experience. So if we go around here, it's looking like I can get through there and then go acro across down here. Uh, following this river, I'm think I, I'm thinking it's either a river or a lake. It's hard to tell right now. Or I could take it really tight through this. Um, I think that's forest. I don't think that's uh, cliffs. And this looks like a huge incline right here, though. That's that's my worrying part. It's going through there and hitting this spot and getting stuck in there. There's also a water hole here, which I don't know if this little car will make it through. You really have to analyze the terrain in this game. Um, so I think if I go around and take the safe road, that's probably my best bet. So it's just a little left to where I am currently. So if we keep following... Actually, it's probably this right here. I don't know how accurate this is, so... I might get lost a little bit. Ooh, I hit that tree a little bit. Ooh, there's an outhouse. Look at that. Oh, wow, I'm actually... Okay, I'm gonna put this actually in four-wheel drive right away. Oh, it actually already is. That's That's scary that I'm getting stuck right there. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. I'm not going the right way. I, am I? No, that's not the right way at all. I got to turn all the way around. So, yeah. Trial and error. We're, we're, we're going to get through. Oh, sorry, tree. I didn't mean to almost kill you. You can hit, hit down small trees like that, but the big trees are going to damage your vehicle. But I don't want to kill a tree if I don't need to. Even if it's a game, I would feel bad. All right, this is definitely the right way. Now, what time is it right now? It is 3.32, probably a.m. It looks like it's going to get sunny soon, hopefully. Uh, that will definitely help with the exploration of this game. Uh, we do want to watch out for boulders, too. They will definitely damage this little vehicle. You really have to watch your terrain with this little guy, because... he. Well, first of all, he's only got... Well, you can see, you can see I'm already at 29 out of 300 damage, so I really just got to take my time, analyze the routes, and figure out if it's viable... For that truck to get it through here. I don't even know if it's going to be able to get through this. Like, there's a lot of open space here, but with tight turns like this, it's just not happening with that truck. So I really got to... I actually took damage there. Re regardless, I'm going to get that unlocked just to see what's down here. But I might not be going this way simply because of what it's looking like right now. Now... As you can see, we aren't even... Well, I guess he could take this road. So this is pretty much my way of getting through here. But he can definitely take different routes. Like, this way might be much better. I probably took a bad route here. But oh well, it's good to just drive around in this game. I really don't mind taking an extra few minutes in this game. Because it's all about this driving. I'm hearing things in the woods. I don't know if that's just me or not. Uh, kind of creepy when you hear things in the woods when... You're this far in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so we are definitely... This is actually a really good spot for this Jeep. I really like this area. Ooh, is that a fire up there? What is that? I wish my camera would correct me here. Oh, it's just like... Is that like flowers? They're just glowing. That's kind of odd. Considering this game fo focuses on realism, they're glowing flowers. I don't know if that's because of my headlights. Oh, I don't even have my headlights on. I forgot. Yeah, they're glowing flowers. Look at that. Interesting. Don't know what that's about, but okay. Oh, wow, this is actually really well open here. So if, if I can get to this road, I should have no problem at all. And I don't think I'll have any issue getting to this road. If I look at the map here. Yeah, he'll be able to definitely get on this road. Um, so overall, we're, we're on the right road now. It is a little... Oh, wow, it's actually a very soft road, so... Obviously, I'll be able to get through that with that big truck, but this little guy, we're going to have to go fast because this road is really soft. And if it, the faster you go, the better it is. So we should be fine if we just keep the speed up here. We don't want to go too fast, though, because if we hit something, we're going to get our um, our Jeep totaled, essentially. I really like these glowing flowers. I don't know why they're here, but it's really nice. They're everywhere. That's beautiful. Everything about this game is real. Like, the, the lighting in this game is absolutely perfect. Okay, so I just want to see... We're at a turn here. So it looks like, wow, I'm actually going straight out of the map. So i got to actually take this hard right. Interesting. I, I didn't feel like I was turning too much, but it doesn't take long to get lost. Now, see, I stopped. And, of course, my Jeep sunk in. So I'm going to put on my diff. And, as you can see, right away... 
um, it gets out of it. Now, I, that's a good time to point out that now I dug a deep hole there. It's going to be much harder to get through there now because that stays forever. Uh, that's not going to go away until I hit it again and move the mud around some more. So you do have to really think about that as well. Am I going backwards? No, this is definitely the right way. What? Where am I going? Because I just turned... Oh, I just went all the way around. I don't know. Why is there mud pits there? I am so confused. Um, Hold on. L let me pull back a bit. I might need to go off-roading here. Hold on, let me really analyze this map for a second. Like, the right way would be right about here. But that doesn't look very fun to go through. I don't want to go by the lake. E you know what, screw it. Let's just start pushing through here, see what I can get myself into. Oh, I can't even knock these trees down. Crap. I feel like there's an opening right behind these small trees, though. So if I can get a way through here... Obviously, I can't take the big truck through here, but if I can find a decent path that I'm not taking right now, obviously, that's going to be the path I'll be taking. I don't know how I got so lost, though. Well, this is really odd. Okay, so this isn't too bad, actually. Uh, I did damage my vehicle a bit, as you can see. I don't know what I hit, but I wasn't really paying attention, either. Now... I'm just really... This is really odd. Okay. Actually, you can kind of see now. It looks like I am just going in the middle of nowhere right now. Which is fun, don't get me wrong, but... I'd rather not be stuck in the middle of nowhere either. Alright, so let's just take our time. The good thing about this Jeep is you can get through little things like this. Whereas any other vehicle... I would be screwed and very frustrated right now. So it's always good to take this little jeep first. Figure out where you're going. Obviously, this isn't a very good route. <laughs> oh, but it's fun. I enjoy it. And this little jeep can get through anything. Oh, yeah, there we go. That That's the road we want right there. And I am in some deep stuff right now. Turn the differential on. And it is still... I am in some weird... Oh, man, I am in a pit or something. What am I hitting? Am I am I on a boulder or something? All right, we're going to get out the wench. It's a good time to see it anyways. Uh, so if we go... Uh, do I not have a wench on this? Oh, advanced, that's right. No. Wench. Oh, yeah, I actually have to... I, I actually forgot how to wench. Okay, oh, I don't really have anything good here. Um, Let me get my grips here. What is going on? Like, it doesn't feel... Maybe I'm clipping that tree a bit. Hold on. I mean, I am definitely in some weird... I can't really see my wheel, so I can't analyze what I'm hitting. But... It is not liking this, whatever it is. So if I can hopefully get a good view here. I think I can probably pull it out to maybe this tree over here. So let's try that. We're going to hit V here. Yeah, that tree is definitely going to allow me. So now I have my wench on. I'm going to get out of the advanced view. And I'm going to start pulling it. Just take your time with this, though, because you don't want to damage your vehicle too much if you don't need to. There we go. Still, this is re this is a really weird... I've never had mud like this. Like, usually you can battle through it at least a little bit. But this is just... Like, I'm not, I'm not even moving. Like, look at this. Uh, differential off. All wheels. I don't know why my all wheels... Were. Oh, yeah, there we go. That helps a little bit. Okay, I think I should be fine now. So I do want to take that off. So you just hit the X here. And if we need it again, we'll obviously have it. Ooh, that's a really... Hold on, let me get my grips here. Wow. I am... I am in the middle of nowhere. We do want to be going exactly where I'm looking. So... I might just floor it and hope for the best. Oh my god. Oh my. This is. Think, see, I see is I'm really scared right now because if I get trapped here, maybe I should go down there a bit, but how do I get down there? That's the question. I can't go through this water. I mean, I can, 
But I'm gonna get stuck here. So, I'm thinking maybe I should floor it and hopefully one of those trees I can grapple to. Or go back down... Oh, I gotta... Sh I can't... This, v this camera is awful. Or go back down here. But I'm gonna get stuck. That's really deep mud right there. So, I'm really... I'm I'm on an, a floating island essentially right now, not knowing what to do. Uh, I could go th pr try and push through this little island possibly, but I don't think I can knock these down. It, if if I could push through right here and go to here, and then hopefully travel across there and get away from that mud and hopefully figure out something over there, that would be a good option as well. Um, but as I stated, I'm gonna take my time with this. I do not want to lose this jeep, because it is quite far now, and I don't want to waste that time. So, I think what I'm going to do, I don't know how soft the, the, the land is right where I am right now. And that's pretty much the deciding factor right now. So we're going to try, oh, 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 come on, get, get it in the first. Alright, we're going to try and push through here. I think this is the best route. Oh, these things are not coming down. These things are not, okay, that's not, that's not the best route. You know what, that's kind of pushing well through that mud, though. I might be able to go back there. You know what, screw it. I'm, I don't want to sit here forever. Oh, I just I just knocked that tree down. Jesus. Alright, I'm just going to go. Sometimes you just got to say fuck it. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad at all. At least you got to see some water physics there. This is actually isn't bad at all, this water. I'd much rather be in here than be in that mud pit right over there. Oh, I gotta watch these freaking boulders, though, man. I can get easily locked up on them. Okay, I gotta figure out what I want to do from here. I need to get down here and a little bit to the right. So I am gonna want to go down here. But there's a big boulder in front of me right now. I can winch, so I'm gonna go for it. These these boulders are gonna... Oh, Jesus, that's always scary. Okay. There it is. There is the tornado. We have made it to the first tornado. I am very excited right now. And I know... A lot of people won't like this game too much, but I am very passionate about games like this. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, it, it might not be my normal viewers that are going to be watching this, but I really enjoy it. So we unlocked that now. Now we can really see, is this viable? And I'm going to say no, judging by it basically stopping right there. And nothing is really going on. It looks like the only viable option is going through that water, which doesn't... It's, it's just too deep in this dark blue, I think. So now I got my jeep stuck here. I gotta go all the way back. I, I mean, I guess I could teleport and kind of cheat. I'd rather not do that, but I think that's the best option here. To not waste time. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way down there, because it just... There's no roads here, man. I, I There's probably a road up here that goes to this objective. So, I think this was a big waste of time, but it was fun. It was an experience. I took my time on it, and we did what we wanted to go out and do, which was get that cloak gone. And that was really enjoyable for me. So, yeah, I'm going to go back, and uh, I think I can just teleport back to the base. I'm not, I don't actually do this, because I don't like doing it, but... Oh, crap. 